All right, I'm here with Chris. All right, Chris. Uh, so one of the topics we're going to talk about is doubt, self-doubt, the war of art, okay? So basically, before we started the video, I was saying how sometimes I'll tell people I'm working, and that, to me, this is part of my work. This is part of evolution training. Look, see, so this is the channel you're watching. There's a glass. There's evolution training on it. It's a company I built in 2011. This is a, so this is my work. And so people, I, we were talking about how sometimes people doubt you and your work and your art because maybe, okay, because this is not making me millions, they're gonna be like, ah, it's stupid, it's dumb, right? Even though it can make an impact to the viewer. So in essence, they're saying, when any of my videos have made impact on you, sometimes people think that it's dumb. And that's why I think they're haters. Chris. No, no, I'm talking about, well, yes. Hater could be a word. Also, it's just, it could be that they see it as a waste of time. Like, oh, okay, who are these, who are these guys? Like, why do these guys have more knowledge than me? Who are they? Yeah. You know, so, it's not so much that, I mean, of course, there's going to be haters playing hate. And then there's going to be the ones that, they don't hate, they're just like, just, who are these guys? Can you tell me? Like, who, who, you know, they don't care. Yeah, they, they like, people want you to have doubt. They want you to doubt yeah. who you are. They kind of, and some people will actually give you like, like, don't doubt yourself. Yeah. But deep down, they kind of trying to make you doubt yourself. Or subconscious, subconsciously, they kind of fuck with you. They want you to. Yeah. They want you to. Like, watch. The reason we call ourselves the Magic Men, we used to call ourselves the Magic Men. We haven't done so in a long time. But, but like, <laughs> we might go downtown tonight. We might go downtown, see what's up in the club scene, whatever, right? Just to, I mean, I mean, let's see what's going on, right? Yeah, like, see, right now I'm talking Spanish. I do that all the time with my friend Chris. But when I'm on video and I'm like, my name is Jacob Adams. I'm a fitness and leadership coach. I have people just like you get to the next level, whether it's in gym, burning, breaking that personal record, burning fat, gaining muscle. Here on YouTube, getting those championship mindsets to get you to the next level and dial in on that champion mindset. See, like, when I talk like that, I'm like... <laughs> it's two different people. It's just two different people. Different people. Everybody has different personalities. I'm not saying they're all about everybody's not polar right? I'm not saying everybody has personalities. Right. Like, like, right now I'm calm, chill, and I'm speaking to the camera, and I'm speaking to you guys to help you maybe, you know, in any way possible that I can, make life more understandable. But, you know, you know, you don't know about my personal life, and um, I've shown a little bit on the previous video how I almost, you know, I went through a death experience. So I'm not really one to make videos, uh, Jacob knows. I have been actually avoiding those, these videos that he's been wanting me to do with him for a long time. Now that I came back from the near death experience right now, I'm just like, what the heck? Yeah, like you're, 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 this guy's a close friend of mine. Like I have my friend Joe and Chris, and there's also Dayton and some, you know, we have a, a very tight crew. He's met a lot of the people on my crew, right? Are we tight as a crew? We're tight as a crew and we, I would say the brotherhood is strong. And you're new to the, the crew on my end. Like in other words, just like I'm new to Benji. Yes. You're new to our crew. So I have, we, have, we have our crews. We try to fuse them sometimes. Sometimes it goes great. You know, sometimes it's just me and, me and Jacob over here. Duo, making the duo, okay? Yeah, magic yeah, magic. Because we met, me and Chris uh, met at, as directors of a fitness training program. In other words, when I tell people I'm a Jacob Adams, I'm a fitness and leadership coach, I authentically, 100%, with no bullshit, have been making all my living on being a coach. Not me. <laughs> like, I am what I am, what was, um, I'm gonna give you all a little tip on something. Yeah. Do not hire. Well, actually, it really depends on the person, how he is, who he is. I think now. Think about it, because I had a great work experience with Jacob. It was an awesome experience. They separated. They separated because they were jealous of they were us. Jealous of our progress. Now, I decided to have a friend who, not to say names, but you know, this guy works a lot of other and stuff, and he's like, I don't want to go back there. So I actually hired him as my assistant because oh. I was a fitness director. He, I made him an assistant fitness director. He, my issue, and that was my fault. That was really my fault. I decided to compare paychecks. Now, one thing, guys, 
if you're making money with a friend or your friends, no don't, don't matter how it is, that isn't my experience, do not compare a paycheck, especially if you're the one above. Because then what happens is he kind of wanted that pay. He didn't know the tr he thought it was all fun and games. I made it a fun and games, but he wasn't there the whole time I was there. He didn't know the back of it, the, the back end. You know, I had to make sure the leads were being taken care of. I had to make sure that people were paying every freaking month, you know, car payments. I think for personal training. I think your the haters that you got in that particular scene came from the fact that you made it look easy and you had your mistakes, you had your errors. But instead of saying, like me, I, the, the t people at top of you, they saw what I saw. Like, okay, is he perfect? No. But he has heart. He believes in what we're doing. And he produces what we want. So they took, like, just like anyone has errors. They're like, okay, they, they, you have that error. Some guy could be cheating on his wife. Some guy could be fucking watching all kinds of shit, like, fucked up. Like, you never know. Your error was just obvious to some people. And they're like, how do I use this against him? And that's where you have to be careful who knows certain things about you exactly. if, if, if it wasn't known prior to. Like, watch. You want to, it's kind of, I'm going to show you an insight. Ready? All my secrets are here on YouTube. So if somebody were to say, oh, so-and-so, this, it's like, well, that's already there. It's, it's there, it's in, in all, in all 300 videos, 20 minute videos at a time, I let it all out. So it's already there. So if someone says, hey, this, I'll be like, yeah, it's already public. What, you think you beat me to it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you get it? Like, so it's, it's kind of like. A more understandable, <laughs> understanding situation. The power comes when you speak the truth because it disarms those that want to use it against you. There you go, there you go, exactly. Because once, once people know something about you, for example, you know, but this is not how mine, this guy was my friend. I had wanted to help him, not have to go back to work up north. You know, did I know what happened was repercussions, hey, you know what? He went in my position, he did something, he knew some of my secrets, backfired. He got rid of me, he got my position, he got the pay he wanted. Did he last in my position? No. Uh, he found he one pay period, he was gone back and forth. So but he, he found out that you were in a way ensuring you were making he found out the power of your leadership and management. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. much as he had something, ah, I'm gonna use this against you, he under, he finally saw like, oh shit, that guy was actually doing something I couldn't. Exactly. Yeah. And, and we're not trying to get no. brag about No, no, it. like, I love What I'm trying to say is that people take stuff for granted. He saw the job fun and entertaining and good, but he didn't know all the work I was putting into it, so it could seem like that. But I was doing it as a friend. He thought, now, oh, well, you're trying to just make more money than me. No, like, regardless, I'm on top of you, I'm gonna make more regardless. But he didn't understand that. He thought, because you're doing all this, that's why you're making more. And he tried doing all this that I was doing, didn't work out. So the moral of the story basically is don't make assumptions, don't make conclusions to what you're thinking. Alright, don't conclude. Because I can go, I can be at a job and be like, man, my boss is just there on his freaking desk all day. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. What a lucky guy. Yeah. Where in reality, in reality, with you, you, you saw, you saw thirty seconds. You saw one minute, and he could be doing this other thing over here, bringing in all this revenue over here because he's managing that one thing, and the guy that hired him is like, that's why I put him there. You get it? Like, okay, Avacare, whatever, whatever. I, I had a friend. I had a coach. I, I recently hired. And he's like, hey man, don't mention Avacare. This and shit. And I'm like, bro, I paid you for your fucking, your fee that I paid you came from Avacare money. So like, you get it? Like, it's like, you're going to shove it down your throat with the Avacare money. Like, don't talk about it. When I was selling a lot with Avacare, that's when we were playing more poker because I was using that money to have fun. Okay. So all of a sudden, oh shit. 
that's kind of badass, right? You get it? Like people don't understand. Like it's there the whole. I, people aren't used to dealing with real people. So when you're real with them, be like, yo, that sent me to Disney World. Family paid for and everything. Twenty eight thousand dollars. Boom, I see. Plus making eight hundred to two thousand a month there with that. Now it's already changed. But if oh wait, so you weren't joking about that? No, I was never joking about that. <laughs> you get it? It kind of puts things into perspective a little bit, like yeah, like well, well, the guy that pretty much promoted this to you is telling you to send out. It, it, in a way, it, it you know it just changes structure. I'm trying to tell I'm trying to tell you that he didn't want to promote him. No, 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 no. The Advocare's truck structure just changed. Haters brought it down in a way. They were like, well, I'm not making $10,000 a month. So they started suing Advocare. So it was like a hater aid. It, the hater, okay, did a hater bring you down? Hmm? Did a hater bring you down? I want to say a hater? But I want to say, and I, I still see him as a friend, regardless of- Oh yeah, you do? No, I do. But <laughs> that's why I love this guy. He's fucking crazy smart. Like it's like a smart way to see things in the weirdest way. Because How is he still your friend? No, no, no. In, in, my, in my head, he's still my friend. I want to know. In his head, he's blocked me, so I'm blocked. I don't even like me now. Um, but why is he still your? He found out everything I was doing for him. Why is he still your friend, way? In my head, he's still my friend because, like I said. It all goes back to I was in near death experience. Watch. So I've learned to forgive. Watch. And forget. So you know what? Okay, okay. He so that's why you're. He that's why he's dirty. Your... He did me dirty. He 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 did me dirty. I won't lie. <laughs> that, that, that's a fact. He he got me. He wanted me out. He did, he backstabbed me. Okay. Hey, I forgive you and I forget. Why? Because even though I don't have that job, I'm here right now speaking, I'm alive, I'm not six feet under. Amen. And I'm grateful. Amen. Okay. And that's where I said. Okay. My question is this. Did his hater actions bring you down in that? Uh, maybe just economically. Okay. That's what I meant. Uh, okay. So the same way a hater can affect you, some haters affected Avocare. It's the same thing. Same stuff. And that's all it is. So Avocare changes pay structure. Now, me. I found, listen to that word, found, you know what found, you go, oh, I found a necklace. I, Advocare helped me find the champion within myself. So now, it's like, okay, did you find, I say, hey man, there's a beach. Hey dude, I found, dude, on the beach I found this fucking, uh, this watch, it's gold. Okay, Advocare told me, that's yours to keep, bro, that's yours. On top of the money, yeah, the watch forever, the money too. But the watch is never goes away. It's always yours. That's they build champions. They help me build the champion in me, and so I'm still the champion. So when you win, win down or not, you're still grateful. I said I'm still a champion. That's what I said. But the thing is, you're grateful. It's, and if you're a champion, you better be grateful. Yeah, of course. We build champions. This is on the box, right? We build champions. So. They help me develop that champion in me. You get it? This channel probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have as much resources, belief in self. I led a team of like 200 people with Advocate, right? So I probably wouldn't have that belief. It's like you, you've directed people, right? You've had direct, you've been a director? Yes, sir. Did you find that out about yourself that you have that skill? Yes. Okay, so do you know that's still there? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay, but you can forget too, right? I um, mean, if you don't, I guess time kills everything. Yeah, yeah. So you could forget. You could do nothing with it. By that same token, is it fair? Is it fair to say that I could also, even though I'm a champion, forget? True. Very. Good. There you go. You can't forget. And so this clarity, this this solidness, now the, that you're kind of you as my friend, this means a lot to me. Now some people could go like. You, the viewer, just witnessed me and Chris in a communication that meant a lot to me, and now you got to see it. And how this applies to you is, you have your own like inner greatness, and you can sometimes like forget it. You can sometimes like watch Netflix too much and be like, life sucks, life sucks, life sucks, and you just you just you're just playing a loop. 
But your mind, your own mind, just it's looping around. And that, and some of that comes from people doubting you, and you believe in the doubt, which is what we started the video with, like so doubt. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Look, dude, like it's kind of like this. You know, when I, one, one of the thing I love about one of the thing I love about numbers, as I've told this uh, the people watching this many times before, is like say what pe people can say whatever they want. Each video I put up grows the channel by one percent. There you go. So some people will be like, oh man, like, oh, that's not good. It's not like, hey, this needs work. It's like, well, where's your videos? <laughs> yeah, I so I can, like people, I like, that, I like, that. like, and, and sometimes people, sure, sure. where is your videos or what, what do you do? Now, I mean, you're doing you, you're doing you. You know, not everybody's going to be making videos. Yeah. <laughs> that's just reality. But of course, it's like, don't judge. <laughs> Unless you have, unless you want to be judgmental type of person, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, nobody has a right to judge. You know what I mean? This could be like, this is work. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna come down here and be like, hey, bro, this ain't nothing. No, this is work. Like, this is what I chose to do. This is what you chose to do, produce, help make people understand more, I guess, about, about life in general. I'm a coach. You know? <laughs> like, <a> coach. <laughs> No, but you get it like it's like what does the artist do the artist paints what does the writer do the writer writes well I'm a coach what does a coach do a coach leads a coach leads teaches people right yeah, yeah. So, so, <laughs> that was what we get a lot of kind of fitness director I would leave teach my trainers and my fitness directors you know nobody's perfect all right um like I said and then I also say it again I was a fitness director. I am now no longer a fitness director. Um, the company I was with, I still get along. I personally, and me personally, I I value them. I am thankful for everything, regardless of the name you go because I got sick. That's fine. Um, that made me learn a lot. That you know, you will be valued. But sadly, when it comes down to companies, certain companies. They might just be like, oh, well, I mean, sorry, man. Okay, and at that moment right there, where they can cut you at their choice, let me ask you a question. Wouldn't you prefer to have 300 videos that you made, that you control, that are all under your command, that no one could touch? At that moment there, wouldn't you prefer that? Or zero videos? Which one? Well, if you get cut. I just want to know, in that situation, yeah. would you want the 300 videos? In that situation, obviously, yeah, videos. But if you don't get cut, then I want the other choice. No, 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 in other words, I keep both. Keep oh, both. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, both of them keep now, both. I'm saying, but I'm, I thought it was like one or the other. No, no, not one or the other, I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, this channel, to me, is about developing something that I control. Okay. You get it? That I don't care where you come from, whether you come from the Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico, whether the fuck, I don't care where you're from, dude, or like, or what you feel that day, or did the chick suck your dick and you're mad, or I don't care, bro. I don't care. Like, it's like, this is my work, asshole. <laughs> you get it? Because sometimes in, 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 the, in the corporate world, in, sometimes, dude, the other day I told people about how I sold, I sold something and I got fired because I didn't know. It was weird, bro. It was weird. Uh, how am I getting fired? It's very funny. I was with a company in Austin and Ain. So apparently, you know, in my as a fitness director, I have to contact my regional manager. So I must have my phone with me at all times. They actually write you up or you know, fire you, termination, aka, um, if you don't have your phone with you. When the next job I get, <laughs> all of a sudden, hey. No phone. Phone in the locker. So it's my second day. I'm thinking, hey, well, my phone, I, I, I had the respect for that. I turned on my phone, I did not buy a lock. So I was not about to have my phone just there for grabs. So I turned it off completely, had it in my pants, in my pocket. Because I entered it with my phone in my pocket, which was my phone was off and they knew and I showed them the proof, I was suspended. Well, they wanted a year. 
and then they dive into two more, into two more. I should be good, and now they're gonna take me back soon, in less than three months. But originally, what they do to these people, they give them a year. And for something, only because of my expertise, they actually made an exception. But it's crazy that something like that, like, hey, well, we can see the phone through your pocket. I mean, I, I'll give it to them. Hey, if I, if I walk in there with my phone, hey, by all means, they have it right. They explain it. That's not, like, that's kind of, that's almost like the technicality screwed you. It was like, not even haters, it like, the, haters. the rules took you out. The rules. The rules took you out. Like, it was you like. Put a phone in your pocket, and you know, I showed them it's off. The phone's off. It's, yeah. It wasn't like the phone's off. I can just see it. It wasn't even hate. They were just like, since we fired other people, we're going to have to fire you. Yeah, like, it's been done before. It wouldn't be fair. Look, I want to run by the scenario because you understand sales. I was working at a sales company. So this is me. Whatever. There's a, a, you know, a customer comes in. I say, have you spoken to anyone before here? He goes, I passed by once, you know, may have said, someone said hi or whatever. Like he made it real like, nah, not really, but technically someone did greet me. Okay. All right. All right. So then what I do, because we have a protocol, protocol, right? Protocol. I go to the cell system. I go, well, let me double check to make sure that if you have a file here, maybe they are, because the protocol is you got someone, put the name in there. So it's under you. Got it. There was, he was, nothing was there. Clear. The system doesn't know he exists. Okay. And so at that point, I go, do you know what he looked like or whatever? No, no, no. He just wants to see what's up. So show me a product. Okay, I showed him the pro 